Today we're going to make an adult origami spotted lanternfly. These invasive insects may be pretty, but they kill grapes, weaken other plants, and can make a huge mess. We're going to start by cutting out the pattern. Step 1. Flip the paper so the white side faces you. Step 2. Fold the paper in half along the diagonal. I like to start by lining up the center corners and then slowly pinching out to the edges. This helps me make sure that my fold stays even. Unfold. Step 3. Fold the paper in half along the other diagonal. Spotted lanternfly nymphs like to eat a lot of different types of things, but we see them often on grape, bittersweet, and poison ivy early in the year. Unfold. Step 4. Fold the paper in half along the vertical line. Did you know spotted lanternflies produce a sticky liquid called honeydew that gets all over everything underneath them and even grows mold? Unfold. Fold the paper in half along the horizontal line. Unfold. Now comes the first tricky part. Pinch the horizontal fold together and hold it in place. Then push the vertical fold up to meet it. Do the same thing with the other side. Sometimes it doesn't fold smoothly and you may need to reach inside and smooth it out. Once everything is settled, flatten it all out into a two-layered triangle. Find the lines labeled 8 hidden between the triangle flaps. Fold along the lines labeled 8. Adult spotted lantern flies have strong legs that let them jump long distances and can fly. If you see one, take a picture first in case it escapes. Fold along the lines labeled 10. Did you know that bees, wasps, and ants are all attracted to the honeydew that spotted lanternflies make? Fold and unfold the bottom flap of the paper along the lines labeled 11. In Massachusetts, spotted lanternflies usually start laying their eggs in mid-September. They'll lay them on just about anything that's outside. Cars, trees, furniture, grills, railings, you name it. Now use that crease to fold the lines labeled 12A and 12B so that the blue lines on that section touch the blue in the center. Or if you have trouble with this step, you can skip it. It makes it look a little bit more like a real spotted lanternfly, but it isn't necessary.
When you're done, you may need to pop the brown wings over the red wings on the front. Next, fold the top of the head back along the line labeled 13. This step helps make your spotted lanternfly look segmented, just like a real insect. Now do the same thing on the tail of the spotted lanternfly. Fold the corners of the wings back and then forward. Then flip the white part of the wings inside to hide them and give the wings a nice round shape. Spotted lanternflies are really good at hitching a ride on cars and other vehicles. They're particularly good at hiding at the base of windshield wipers and around tires. If you're driving through an infested area, check before you leave. And you're done. Remember, if you think you've seen a spotted lanternfly, snap a picture and send in a report using the link on the screen and in the description. And if you're dealing with an outbreak of spotted lanternfly, check out the resources in our description for more information. If you make your own, we'd love to see it. You can find our social media links in the description below. Thank you for joining us.